Hey guys, what's up, what's up, what's up? So I'm hoping you guys were able to catch my last video, my last two videos I did with the high-end baskets. Those baskets came out really, really nice. I did play back the last video, and I did notice that um, the one of the baskets, you couldn't see the top of it, you couldn't see in the video, you couldn't see the, the bow, how pretty it came out. I'm going to show you that, show you that before um, I end this video. But if you, um, I'm coming to you guys to show you guys in that video, in that last video, I had mentioned that I had, um, a couple orders. One of the orders was for two baskets for a raffle. The raffle is, um, I work for a hospital and every year they give the volunteers of the hospital a free luncheon. And at the free luncheon, they give them, um, they let them participate in a free raffle. Um, so my boss had asked me if I would make a basket um, that he was, he, he's going to pay for, which is um, awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm just I'm happy um, that I could oblige and I'm happy that um, I have the opportunity to um, make a basket for my boss. I'm, I'm very humble. But okay, so let's go right in. I did choose, the theme that I chose was the um, barbecue basket, the um, George Foreman basket. So I'm gonna go right in. I've made these in the past before, but I've decided to um, show you guys on video. If you haven't been able or haven't seen those videos, I, I decided to show you, because Father's Day is coming up, and this basket can also um, be a Mother's Day basket, actually. Um, or whatever occasion basket you want it to be. So what I did was I took the George, I took the Grill and Chill basket, which let me lift this up. Yep, it's still on there. The tag, is, the price tag is on there. Uh, oh, it's working out, it's working out. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm just removing the price tag. didn't have to heat it up that's good okay let me look I think I'm getting it off nope okay the part with the money how much it costs is still on there okay so let me just peel this off real quick I could take the heat gun and heat it up but since I already Take down this the carousel. Oh, that is not gonna be possible. Okay. Well, it is possible. I can take that a loose. Okay, I think I got it off. It was coming up real nice a minute ago. Maybe I should work on a part that got the, the price tag on it. Uh, that the price you can see. Okay, there it go. Okay, it's done. Thank you. Whew. Just a small little piece left. Okay. Ooh, that was hard. <laughs> so I got that off. Okay, good. I'm glad I lifted it up. Okay, so what I'm using is the George Foreman Grill, the um, the Grill and Chill basket, metal basket. This, these baskets is good for like parties, cookouts. Um, you can actually place ice in them and place your drinks in them. So these these um, containers are reusable. I got this from Dollar General. I got the George Foreman from Family Dollar when they had that sale last year. Um, then I got the carousels, the utensil carousel, it, this here from um, Family Dollar as well when they had a sale on these. These were three fifty, I believe. When I when I bought it, um, and then I got the Grillin's Chill towel set from 
Dollar Tree. Okay, so, I, and then I got, I went in and I placed this, um, what is this? Supreme, Supreme Tradition Seasoning Garlic and Pepper. So I'm just going to place that right in the carousel. I also added a couple utensils in here. I added the, um, the thongs and I added a, a metal spatula. Spatula. So I'm just going to throw those in there. This carousel comes with a lot of pieces. Um, well, it comes with 11 pieces. So it's pretty cute. I'm going to add this, put this in here. Kind of try to wedge this in here. Um, yeah, I'm going to try to wedge this in here so it don't move. Okay. I think I should probably tape it. I'm going to go in and tape that real quick. So how are you guys doing? Um, how are you guys doing? Is everybody getting ready for their Mother's Day sales? Um, let's see. Yeah, I might have to move that. Yeah, I want, I don't want to wedge all the way down that far. Um, okay. How about, I'm just arranging things so I can get this to stay in here. Just like that. Okay. Okay, so I got that in there. Finally. Let's see if I can put this back in here. Okay. Okay, so I got that back in there. Okay. So that should stay, hopefully. Um, and... On the back of here, I placed in the cutting board and I placed in one of the cow pictures, um, wall pictures that I got from Dollar Tree, no, Dollar General. I got the cutting board. It's the two-piece set. I just placed the whole pack in there. Um, I didn't even, I didn't open it or anything. Um, and it was from Family Dollar. It was like $2 and some change. Um, so I place that in there. Normally what I like to place on the back is a, like a burger cooking book or something. But, um, when I went to Dollar Tree today, I couldn't find it. Couldn't find any of them out. So it is what it is. This is what they get. It's still a nice basket. I substituted the picture for the, um, the magazine that I, the cooking magazine that I would put in there or a cookbook or whatever I would throw in there. Um, so the basket is almost complete I did want to see if I could get these in here um I think one of them fell let me just excuse me walk through and pick it up they'll clean it when they get it um so I don't know where to place those but I do know that I want this to go here I don't want to block the word George I want them to know that it is a George Foreman grill. So I might have to fold this under. Okay, and then I'm going to place this right in front of that. Then I'm going to tape that down. Um, I do have a piece of tape already. Already for me. And I'm gonna heat, heat wrap this, or shrink wrap it, so that looks cute. So where's these gonna go? Let's see here. Just trying to figure out where I'm gonna place these. That's a good place. And I'm gonna use this tape here. Tape 
that down. Then I gotta get the spatula back in here. Turn this crap off. Okay, that's better. Um, get this back in here some kind of way. Okay, that's good. Um, so that looks good. I'm gonna throw some shred in here. I'm using a neutral brown shred. So. Keep that thing right here. I'm just going to throw a little bit of shred. Not too much. Just a little bit. I got quite a bit of the shred from um, Family Dollar when they had the shred on sale last year. I think it was bringing up a quarter. They had so, so, so much of it. I don't think I bought a lot of it, though. I think, um, I think I was busy buying other little, other things they had on sale at the same time. So, I'm just gonna stick this in here. Okay. So, that looks good. That looks good. Throw the rest of this in there. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm going to go in and shrink wrap this. Okay. And I'm going to use a 30, 24 by 32 shrink wrap bag. Since it's not a tall basket, it's a short basket, it should work. I think that's cute. I think that's cute. So hopefully my um hopefully my boss will like this. I like it. Sorry about the noise, like usual. I'm just folding sides down. <laughs> Trying to do a better job at centering. Might be a tight fit. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Not that tight. Since it's only a 30, 30 inches tall, I hope it fits. Okay. And it is a little short. No worries, no worries. I'm going to fold this over and tape it down. Now I think I mentioned in my last video that you could um just go from you know do it upside down, place the bag on the top of it. That works too. Probably should have did that, but it's okay. Cause you know me, we gonna make it work. Okay, so now I need a zip tie. Place some more zip tie on. It's, it looks cute. It looks cute. So I'll probably make some of these for, I might make one for Mother's Day. Probably will. You know, um, just to move inventory out. So now I'm just pulling the bag through. Any access. Okay. Okay, 
thing. And now I'm gonna put this with my snips. Place my bowl. Well, actually, I can't place my bowl on. I need to shrink wrap first, which is only gonna take a second, I believe. This is a thinner put gauge bag. And then I gotta tape the sides down. Sometimes I'll be forgetting steps. Okay. No worries, it'll pull it in anyway. Most of the time it will. Unless it's a really large um, bag, it'll, it'll pull that in. So, sometimes you don't even need to take it down. So now I can be ready to shrink wrap. And it should go real fast. Which it is. It already looks nice. It's already coming out real nice already. So one of the reasons why I am shrink wrapping this is because it's going to be moved more than once. By the staff and by the people at the banquet hall. So that's why I'm shrink wrapping it. I would have preferred just to throw it in a, a cellophane bag. But I want to make sure it, you know, it looks nice and they, and they get it. And this, this basket will get a special thank you card. Um, I have some other thank you cards with my business name and logo on there. This time I took time, my time with the bow. That uh, last video, I didn't take my time with the bow. That's why it came out jacked up. But I took my time with this one. I went in with um, white and brown. I mean, not white and brown. I'm sorry. The red and brown ribbon. Um, yeah, so... Yeah. See, when you take your time, it looks so much better. So, so, so much better when you take your time. I was moving way too fast. Okay, I think I want to see George. Where is 
George, so they know that's a George Foreman grill. Okay, that's pretty. That's that's real nice. That's real nice. I'm going to go grab um my thank you cards. I'm going to show you guys those. Unfortunately, I can't find them. Um, that's okay. I'll show you guys another time. I am going to bring this in. Let's see what you guys can see. They're really pretty cards, though. That is pretty. That's real pretty. I like it. Okay, so that's that. That's what it looks like from the behind. Really, really cute. I like it. The good thing is I have some of those, even if I don't find those cards tonight, I have some at work. They actually they're photo um thank you cards. Um and they look really, really pretty. So let me see if you guys can see this. And no, you can't. There it go. That is pretty. That is really, really pretty. So that's what that looks like. That's what the bowl looks like. And I apologize, guys, for um, I sh should have checked the camera. Um, but this is how this this is how this look with the bowl. But okay, guys, if you haven't already, hit that like button. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Um, I really appreciate you guys. Um, that's cute. This one's also cute. Okay, guys, stay up, stay up, stay up. Stay blessed, guys. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.